now let's bust some generator myths. First off, a lot of people think that using a manual switch or connecting my generator into my home is going to drive up my electrical costs. This is not true. The generators are installed after your electrical meter, so it's not going to be reading the electricity coming into your home outside of that. So myth number two, running a generator in a detached garage or shed or a carport is okay. This is not okay. Again, even if you have a garage with the door open, that carbon monoxide while it's running can pool in the corner. If I go out there to shut it down and refuel, that carbon monoxide is still inside that garage and is not ventilating properly. So if, with any kind of covered solution like that, it's a no-no to run a generator inside. So another myth is that I can connect my generator to my home through a dryer plug. This again is a really bad idea. First of all, that dryer plug, you don't know what size gauge wire they actually use to connect into your home. Uh, this can cause a fire if it's not sized properly. On top of that, you, if you do not shut off your main, you're going to be sending power back up the line and you can harm a lineman. The other thing about that is that the insurance company isn't going to cover this damages because they, you did an improper installation. On top of that, you're not going to find the correct cord to plug into your home. Uh, this cord would require that you have a male end on both sides, which are no longer available. So another myth is that a generator can power everything. Now, this is untrue. Uh, a generator is only going to be sized for whatever wattage it can put out. So when you are sizing a generator or buying a generator, you need to make sure that you're either using a sizing calculator or some way of figuring out the amount of wattage that you actually need. Another myth that there are noiseless generators, and that's just not true. A generator needs some source of power, usually going to be an engine. Uh, the engines are going to make some sort of noise no matter what. Now there are very quiet generators, which are called inverter generators, and those are fully enclosed and will be in a very low decibel range. Beyond that, there is no absolute silent generator. Another myth is that people think that they can just go out and buy any generator and it's going to work for their application. And this is not true. You can't just walk into a store and blindly buy a generator thinking that it's going to run everything that you want. You really need to size a generator properly to get what you need out of that generator. That's why it's always great to use the sizing calculator on our website to help determine your needs. So a great example is you walk into a store and all that's available is a 2000 watt generator. Now, while that may be very inviting because you can buy it right then and there, in the future, it's probably not going to work for your needs. Always look into what you plan to run and not what's available right then and there. So another myth is that if you do connect to a manual transfer switch, that it's going to make more power than what the generator actually does. For example, if I've got a 30 amp manual transfer switch, but I connect into that with a 20 amp generator, that I'm actually producing then 30 amps, which is not true. You're always going to be limited by whatever the generator can put out as far as amperage. So another myth is that you do not need an electric generator. Well, that's not true. Everybody needs an electric generator. Nowadays, whether it's mother nature or rolling blackouts or just bad grid power, electric generators can help you in all of your needs. A lot of people are working from home, uh, you've got a lot of people that have, you know, sump pump needs. If your sump pump goes out and you don't have electricity for a period of time, especially in inclement weather, your basement is going to flood. So an electric generator not only gives you the means to do this, but it gives you that peace of mind in the long run. Another great point is that these are very versatile. Portable generators can go with you wherever you're going. So if you're camping or you're RVing or you're bringing it over to your brother's house that lost power, you have the means of saving somebody else too.